The gloomy skies match this year's harvest in central Saskatchewan. With record-breaking heat and little rain, many prairie farms have had disastrous losses. Because it's been so dry too, I don't, I'm very nervous about breaking up the field. Glenn Wright says these fields are supposed to be his legacy. Yeah, that's the dream I want to protect for my kids. He's been an advocate for lowering emissions on grain farms like his, but it's taken a mental toll. And I'm ex exhausted after 15 years of trying my best to, to inspire people to change. That kind of emotion is what's being dubbed ecological grief. The effects of climate change on mental health was the focus of a documentary made by Ashley Consolo. In the prairie regions with drought, you know, we're seeing um, so many more experiences with ecological grief and loss and the related senses of stress, of anxiety, of depression. And when the flowers fall off, you get what's called a rose hip. Diana Violet Bird is from Montreal Lake First Nation. She's been foraging for edible wild plants in northern Saskatchewan for decades, a skill she learned from her mother and is now passing that knowledge on to her daughter. But this year, there was little food to gather. The fiddleheads where I usually pick were not, were not good this year. It, it was, it was, it's a loss. And the toll of environmental loss is sure to increase as extreme weather events continue. We need to figure out how we can support people as more and more people are experiencing, you know, various forms of ecological grief or various forms of mental health outcomes due to climate change. As for Glenn Wright, he says he isn't losing hope and will keep doing everything he can to fight climate change. Omera Isa, CBC News, near Vanskoy, Saskatchewan.